Well, Little League Baseball is all about replicating the feel of the major leagues. And back when I was playing, it was all about playing under those bright lights. But as the CBC's Sanjay Maru explains, those lights have been inviting a lot of, let's call them unwelcome fans, for one local league. The Forest Glade Baseball League is hitting the tail end of its season, and that means kids are looking to fit in as much playtime as possible. On a typical night, this is the scene during game time, but earlier this week, it was a different story, as the bright lights attracted this giant swarm of fish flies, forcing the game to be stopped just after the third inning. The umpire stood up, had uh, maybe 60 to 100 of them on, on his back, just completely covered. Kids were in the outfield, they couldn't see. It was, it was mainly called for the safety of the players. Oh my God, my God. <laughs> it was disgusting. <laughs> They were hitting me in the face, like flying in my ears, like on my clothes everywhere. It was really distracting. What are we seeing right now? This is your impression of the umpire? Yes. <laughs> like, he couldn't even he see. He was covered. But it's not just players feeling the wrath of the fish flies. Some parents say they've been forced to watch games from inside their cars since the bugs have been out in full force. I know one of the, the moms had a sweatshirt she had tied like up tight to cover her face and then she was hopping from her chair. Teams competed last night without having to call off the game early, but that doesn't mean the fish flies weren't out. For these players, it's just about making it to the end of the season without losing any more playtime. A season which has redefined the term fly ball. Sanjay Maru, CBC News, Windsor. <laughs> it's Sanjay's birthday today, and you could say that the birthday boy knocked that one out of the park. I couldn't leave it there without saying it.